Oh, Mrs. Jackson. Jackson. Yeah. Sorry, nice Mrs. Jackson. Nice to meet you. It's okay. <laughs> 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 You're real. Okay. Yeah, hold on, hold on. Nice hold to on. meet you. Congratulations on your son. Thank you. Hold on, hold on. Oh, you've got that. You got that. <laughs> Sorry, Miss Jackson. <laughs> I am for real. I can take your mic now. Yeah. Thank you very much. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Yeah. 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 Kevin Cassis, IFL TV, MTK Global in Boston. It's very late here. It's very late. Um, we probably had one fight too many. We're trying to provide value for fight fans. We finished at about quarter to one, so a little bit late, but we're learning, we're learning. And now we have another world champion, Demetrius Andre, three-time two-weight world champion. Time to mix it with the middleweight elite. You know where they are. They're on the zone. After the four or five rounds, he looked to never yeah, was. that it he was, would yeah, stop listen, him. He's injured his shoulder and he couldn't throw the left hand there he wanted, and that was the, the key to success for him in that fight, you know, early on. I mean, I feel like, arguably, they should have stopped the fight at the last knockdown when he went back to his corner halfway through the round. He didn't really know what it was, but he recovered so well, and he was such a strong man that in the end, once Demetrius had a shoulder problem, he just decided to box and glide for six rounds to victory. And, you know, what's the point in taking a risk when you're in that position, you, you won every round, 10-8, 10-8, I think 10-7 was a two knockdown round. So, you know, it was a, it was a great performance and uh, very tough to be out of the ring for a year and come in. And obviously when you've been preparing for eight, nine weeks for a slick southpaw and you come up against a crude puncher, it's not easy. And I thought he adapted very well. Mm. Credit to uh, Cotton Dockwell oh, as unbelievably well. unbelievably tough. He's stuck in there. Yeah, and, unbelievably yeah. tough. And you could see when he was ringing the punches, I'd like to bring him back. I'd like to bring him back, Dan Eppel. Because I think, you know, obviously he's extremely strong, he's extremely talented. Um, you know, technically not on Andre's level, but he's a puncher and I think he could be in some great fights. He's always going to struggle against someone as skillful as Demetrius. We know you obviously got Danny Jacobs challenging for the IBF title next week. That's an option, but the Billy Joe Saunders option is something you will revisit depending yeah, on what I mean, happens. That, you know, Saunders stuff has, has been and gone and we'll see what the WBO do with him I know Demetrius wanted to fight him but we all know what happened so you know the plan is hopefully his shoulder's not bad and we get him out probably in January and keep him active you know just keep him active let him do what he hasn't been able to do which is to be active to perform you know he's a, he's a fighter that when he's in his groove he's going to be very very difficult to beat you can see he's lacking a little bit of confidence in the ring because he's lacking ring time and, you know, he got a good 12 rounds in tonight and uh, hopefully the injury is not too bad and, you know, he can go on and defend early next year. Mm. Wins for Tommy Cole and also yeah, Scott Quigg fight. tonight. Yeah. Tommy was in a great fight, as he always is. Uh, credit to Ryan Kulzeski as well. It was incredibly tough. Good stoppage win for Scott Quigg. And Danny R. I thought Tevin Farmer was outstanding tonight. I thought he was probably the standout performance of the night. Um, you know... You gotta be Demetrius's brother. Yes, sir. How That's you doing? How you doing? For you. I was like, you right? see. Nice to meet yeah, you. Yeah, nice to meet nice you to too, man. Right? Finally, to ring up. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I was looking. I thought that's gotta be Demetrius's I'm brother. Like his, you yeah. fight too? I used to, man. Come on, let's bring you back. Yeah. <laughs> if we're willing, about the, if we're willing about to put it. in the work. Nice one, mate. What was your name? Matthew Andrew. Nice man. to meet you, Matthew. Yep, you too, nice man. Yeah, yeah. My uncle's been saying the same thing. Man. Yeah. Job, bring I'll you back. You bring you back. Yeah, yeah. Okay, mate. So I thought Tevin was brilliant tonight. Tennyson was also. I know they felt he, they stopped it a little bit early, but he was hurting him so badly to the body, and you know, obviously he went down what three times. Uh, what I'll say about Tennyson was he came to win the fight. Mm. Sometimes you get an opportunity to challenge for the world title abroad, and you, it, it, it passes you by do you know like the moment but he was in the moment he boxed well he gave it everything and um thought thought farmer was brilliant mm. brilliant really good he's going to be very Ta good tank and farmer i know not, not yet about. but like i think tevin would do it next but tank's going to want to fight probably i don't know december january see but, oscar delahoy's tweet to mm. Javante davis mm. saying come and fight on yeah the zone Nothing to do with me, oh. but you know, I think people see, people know Tank's unhappy, 
I mean, you haven't got to be a genius to work that out. He says it all day on Twitter. So, you know, any approach I make to Javonta Davis is going to be through Mayweather Promotions, who is his official promoter. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I've made them a couple of big offers. I'm going to make them another big offer this week. And we'll see what happens. Katie Taylor. Um, press it. Okay. Just picking this back up. Yo, <coughs> sorry, we were talking about Tevin? Uh, no, we were talking about Katie Taylor. All oh, right, yeah. Um, I thought it was a, a good performance. Serrano... Negative? Yeah, she was negative. I think maybe she knew she was beat before she got in the ring. Um, and I think we need to be in those fights where people believe they can win. Mm. You know, Credit to Serrano. She came up at you know, weight divisions and she took the challenge on. But I think she knew that Katie was too good. And I think Katie needs the big challenges now. Because mm. I think she needs to be tested. Um, and, you know, great atmosphere for her. Obviously, Conor McGregor turning up as well was brilliant. Fair play to him. Um... She wants. What does she want? Amanda. She doesn't does believe. She? she doesn't believe that Amanda wants to fight. Amanda obviously was there watching her sister. Did you talk to her? Who? Amanda. No. Why not? Good question. Okay. She's actually still loitering about. We'll see. I want to finish with you first. Okay. She's sure in demand here in the US. But obviously, there's all this talk of Cecilia. Cecilia, Celia. Yeah, breakouts. Break I mean, she'd have to come to 140. Katie really shouldn't go much higher than 135, but she would go to 140 for that fight. But I feel like Katie's next fight should be, you know, the Volantes, the Pearsons, they're the two champions, the Serranos, the Breakhouses, they're those kind of levels because I think she needs that testing now. Mm. And of course, the fans as well, people watching, they want to see her tested. They love to watch her, but she won every round and would never look like losing a round. Mm. So you're going to get a little bit bored of that after a while. And she's that good. She's going to beat everybody, in my opinion. So, Katie Taylor's here now. We're going to do the presser. All right, we'll pick it up. Take three. You all right, mate? <sighs> Tired, mate. Tired. New York tomorrow. You're straight to New York? All right. Another middleweight world champion in the bag. Not me. All right, all right. Um, Atlantic City. Yes. Hang on. I'll tell you, basically, we're waiting on things with the heavyweight championship, the WBA regular, with Gerald Miller. And there's loads going on with Aquendo and um, Char, like they were supposed to fight each other, he failed a drugs test. Um, and we hope to announce tomorrow, we know the card, like the card set, mm. it's just who Gerald will fight. So, so November 17th. What about Trevor Bryant? He didn't want to fight. Okay. So November 17th will be Gerald Miller. It'll be Brandon Rios against Ramon Alvarez, Canelo's brother. It'll be Luis Arias against Gabriel Rosado. It'll be Clarissa Shields. You like that one? Oh. See the old eyes perk up there. Uh, what, is she, you signed her to the zone? Just for this fight. Just for this one? On. Is she under Metrum? No. Oh. For, for this fight, she's. Okay, interesting. Yeah. Um, Ricky Burns, Ansi Sims Jr., Nikita Ababi, Ergoshev, etc. So it's been uh, frustrating because I wanted to announce it really on Friday, but we're just waiting on the WBA. So I'll speak to Mr. Mendoza in the morning and see what's what. Um, how did you feel about having literally your pants pulled down? Oh, mate, 5,000 retweets. But seriously. <laughs> I'm, I can't believe it because it could I'm, have been worse yeah, it could have been from the front <laughs> I wasn't packing this morning after the gym no kecks on but you told him to put it out That's no what... he sent Frank a text right going mate he said he got the ump that I did that and then I came in and he went Ed you got the ump out I went no, of course I have mate he went I was going to put it out but like, I, I won't put it out if you I went put it out I should have said no Put it out. I, I thought maybe 100 retweets or 200 retweets. 5,000 retweets. My pale, pasty, hairy, horrible ass on everyone's social media. I apologise if you saw it. That's right. But what can you do? See Wilder's comments today? What, he wants 60 40? Well, he said that and then he said that he would take no less than 50 50 now. <laughs> I'm sick and tired of idiots out there who think he wants to fight. How stupid have you got to be to think that Deontay Wilder wants this fight? Just listen to what he's saying.
So, yeah. Boring. Boring. It is becoming... Boring. Oh, yeah, I, I want 60... Mate, fuck off, mate. You ain't earned three million bucks. Fuck's sake. I mean, a row of beans over here. You could walk up any city, any high street, any town in the world and ask anyone who Deontay Wilder is. No one's got a fucking clue. He ain't even going to do 300 buys on pay-per-view. On Showtime. You're not 60 for you, idiot. Fucking don't waste our time. Don't use Joshua's name to try and gain profile and publicity. Fucking waste of time. Wasting my life. Wasting but what about all the talks you're having? Oh, because the... I, the Maybe he's just saying it, I don't know. But if that's what he really thinks, please don't waste my fucking time. I'm really fucking busy, you know? So, fucking just, I'm busy. I'm busy. No time for time wasters. Give me someone that wants to fight. Joshua. Not talk about it to try and raise their profile. There's only one. Deontay what bronze, but fuck it. Now, mate. You're the only person that says that. <laughs> <laughs> There's right. only one Deontay Wilder. Yeah, there is only one Deontay Wilder. No one knows who he fucking is. Okay, okay. No, so I'm joking. I'm I was joking. laughing it's at just, your impression. But it's, anyway. just, it's just so, so draining. All we do is chase, all we do is make approaches, all we do is make offers, all we do is try and have negotiations. December 22nd. Mm -hmm. Imminent or not? It's happening. I don't think it's Del Boy. Really? Not at the moment. I mean, we're just, we're, we're out on the deal. I mean... You said Dylan White could end up fighting on what card? Uh, he could fight in America. On which card? On either our card or maybe on the MSG card, who knows? But more likely... What's your card? Which one? What's your card in December? We may do another one. All right. So who would headline your call then? Your call? No, sorry. <laughs> it's late. O2. O2, similar. No, we wouldn't... No, we'd just go with maybe Brooke or something like that, O2. But I think Dillian will fight the O2 on 22nd. We're very close now to making moves with an opponent and that's we, not Chisora it's not Chisora no but we still want the Chisora fight but it just don't look like it's I mean we're just so far out we've gone we've gone backwards like there was a number that Derek wanted and we wanted somewhere close and now he's asking for like load more than what he's already asked for before so, yeah, it's not. And Dylan's pissed off, and he just said, get me another fight. So we'll see. We'll, and listen, anything can happen. It could change tomorrow, but at the moment. But that leaves your December 8th show in the balance, and if you're thinking of possibly yeah, putting yeah, Brooke yeah, on I might, that yeah, card. I, and, might, yeah. I might leave the other. Everything should be up and running this week. So. I'm going to get to New York and get shit done. Are you OK, hon? <laughs> I'm tired, hon. I'm tired. All right, okay, so next week you're going to be in AC, no, not AC. I'll be in New York. You'll be in New York, mm -hmm. obviously Frank Smith's Frank running the Smith Copper, Bo Copper Box. running the Copper Box press conference All right. with Cheeseman and Byfield. <laughs> <laughs> Where's your dad? He's going to the show. Do you know that, see what i just done there? Yeah. When I was young, we used to get music lessons. I know, I know. And I was just sorry. No, but we used to do this as well. I know what you're going to no, say. No, and everyone would go in. They'd go, yeah. right, you have to bring an instrument and play. And they'd go, right, uh, you know, whatever. Brooks, what do you need to get out of his violin? Well, no, that's a trumpet. <laughs> and, then, and then they'd go, whatever, Davis. And he'd be like... Are these real people? Yeah. yeah. And then they'd go, her, and I'd go... Like that, right? <laughs> and they just go, oh, hell. that was it. Does, right, Dan? Does Dan think that Wilder wants to fight? Probably, because Dan's American, isn't he? Deontay Wilder come out today and says he will only accept the fight for 60-40. Oh, he might consider the 60-40 in Joshua's favour? No, his favour. Well, there's no fight. It's not even, that's not even, it's a, not even a conversation. It's not a conversation. It's not even 50-50. 
you know, 60-40 on, on Joshua's side, if you're generous. You, know? you heard it from the main man. ESPN. I just keep it real, that's all. You do keep it real, Dan. I'm not all, you know, I disagree with you I've on got stuff. a lot of love for you, Dan. <laughs> I can't I, no, it's I, all good. Because, you know, you have your fallouts with Dan, and he sometimes tweets things, and you think, you fucking tosser. And then he says something else, and you think, actually, he, he, the thing is, he won't sugarcoat it. At least what I'm he gonna, says. I'll put it like this. I've been doing this now 18 and a half years. You don't survive at a top level in media if you just don't you got to be true to yourself you got to keep it real and you know there's gonna be people getting mad at you about this and that it happens all the time sometimes they love you sometimes they hate you Dan can I just say something yeah. I'm in charge of the bullshit right <laughs> you know I mean? how it's many okay. fighters have you actually fallen out of over the years man? not that many actually a few you know my man Billy Joe oh yeah, yeah. my man yeah. Spike O'Sullivan who was here tonight yeah but that, I don't that's not it's, I don't take that too serious it's like it's to me it's mostly all in fun when they get real personal, like some guys do, you know, you maybe get a little irritated, but you still do your job. It's no biggie. You know, some of it you do, they, you, you, you do it because not forget it, it's not so much about the boxer. They get their fans so riled up with so much fun. It's sort of like but you like aggravating does, the Brits. Does, like, you like, like aggravating the Brits. You do. The British boxing fans. It, you no, do. No, it's not. It, it's not. It has nothing to do with like fire. It's nothing to do with Brits. I have a lot of love for lots of people. Say, oh, you hate all the British fighters. Are you kidding me? I was like the biggest. When, when Lennox was champ, I was like the one American reporter that actually like was a Lennox guy. You know, I was a big supporter of Ricky Hatton. I was a huge Amir Khan, uh, uh, well, Amir Khan for sure, but, but early on in my career, Prince Nassim. Mm. You know what I mean? I mean, I like Joshua. I mean, you like, you know, it, it, you just, it's not a, it's not a, a nationality thing. I was talking it's, about the British fans as, because I like to Oh, listen, a, a lot of the British of... fans are great. I love, you know, some of them are, couldn't be greater, but some of them, it's just like, you guys get a life, man. I feel the same way, Dan, sometimes. <laughs> I don't know, listen. I can, Dan, I could be worse. You could be booed by 90,000 people. Like I think I'd be pretty, I actually would, I'd get off on that. Would you? You that sick would be, bastard. That would, be, that would be pretty cool. <laughs> to have 90,000 people just like filled with hatred and rage for all you right, for mate. no apparent reason. Okay, I'm just trying to tell myself it's all a joke. You know, but no, seriously, they, some of them, you can, it's, you can push your button so easily, get them riled up in two seconds, it doesn't take anything. You say, you could even say something that's like factual and has not an opinion or not any sort of, you know, slant to it whatsoever. You could just state a fact and if they don't like the fact, they think you're, you know, a horrible person, right? I mean, it's, it's preposterous. But uh, listen, I, the main thing though is, in all seriousness, they are that passionate about their fighters and they're great fans. I mean, we can't, there's no, I don't care what fight it is. It could have been, you know, the biggest fights we've ever had. You can't get 90,000 out of boxing match in the United States. Now, part of that's because we just have more choices for our sports, you know, compared to Britain and most of Europe. But, you know. They're very passionate. They are very passionate. Look, I covered like many. And actually, they love a pint as well. Well, that's or, or 12. Yeah. yeah. But they go to, when I, when I came to America, first of all, I said, um, Eddie, how do you do it in the UK? Like, how comes these fans are so passionate and went there? The get, a, get liquored up a little bit, you know? <laughs> yeah. But I mean, we I, need to I, encourage more drinking. I don't know about that. No, we do. I think. I think no, we but do. I, I had an idea. Right. That in the VIP area, the I was going to get. VIP? Yeah, like okay. we do this inner ringside yeah. bit. Uh -huh. yeah. So I was going to get a tequila sponsor, and every time there's a knockdown or a stoppage, you have to do a shot of tequila in the in, in the VIP area. Like in the in, in the ring. So these people come around, pour a shot, and you're like, bosh. So yeah. there was four in the Andrade fight. Exactly. You would have been hammered. Hammered. Exactly. Yeah. That would be bad. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. Um, but I was saying, you can't... Glad you like that one, Dan. That was, yeah, it was okay. Thanks. There's no, there's no 90,000 fight here. I mean, I went to, like, you know, big Manny Pacquiao fights and Oscar and Tyson and... I prefer, to, to be honest, the stadium fights are hard, hard work. And sometimes yeah. you do them and you think... God, but I'll say this. Doing it, yeah, of too. all the fights I have covered, and, you know, it's a lot... The Wembley fight with Joshua yeah, and Klitschko is one of the greatest yeah. events, and not, not just boxing. I mean, I've gone to like you know World Series games and yeah. big baseball and football games and that sort of thing. That was one of the greatest events I ever seen. Period, mm -hmm. in any sport, as a spectator, as a, as a certainly as a, as a journalist. I even had a table. Yeah, I know. Me and Dan always, mate, we always have arguments because he wants a table. By the way, they loved you on my show. Yeah? They're like, oh, that we gotta, they, they were like, we gotta get Hearn back on. I'm on, I'm, on, I'm, yeah, I'm, on. I'm, I'm available for bar mitzvahs Absolutely. and weddings and everything. Yes, mate. Are you alright with everything you said in this camera today? Because you were a bit 
animated about five minutes ago. Well, I'm just saying, you was a bit animated. I'm, just, I'm so tired, I've just gone a bit delirious. You're good. I can't remember. Put it out, yeah? Lovely. All right, I, don't nice one. I just want to ask you one question about the fight, though. You had mentioned when we spoke yeah. earlier in the hotel about.